Ohio has approved more than 500 sports betting licenses. Based on research done by the WCPO 9i team, of the 45 issued in Hamilton County, only one went to a minority owned business. I team reporter Dan Monk spoke to one local lawmaker who is not happy with the numbers. Hey, we applied. Uh, but as soon as we heard about it, we jumped on it. Rodrigo Williams is counting on sports betting to bring new customers to his North College Hill bar. You know, I didn't travel over to Indiana plenty of time to put a, uh, a, a ticket in. So I said, hey, you know what, let's look through the research and find out what it takes to get the license. Good Brothers Bar and Grill is one of 45 Hamilton County locations conditionally approved as sports betting kiosk hosts by the Ohio Gaming Control Commission. It's the only black-owned bar on the list. And that's not good enough for State Senator Cecil Thomas. If we uh, are going to do this, we want to be very inclusive, you know, uh, because there's, a, there's, there's plenty to go around. Thomas supported sports betting legislation in part because it called for a disparity study to determine whether discrimination is keeping minorities out of the industry. Nine months later, the Ohio Department of Administrative Services says it won't start the study until after the industry launches January 1st. We want something moving. We want some action on this. The Gaming Control Commission says it doesn't know how many minority-owned companies have received licenses statewide. That's because it never asked applicants if their company is minority owned. Oh, you, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> I, that, that's not helpful. That's not helpful to not have that question in there. Williams has no complaints about the licensing process. No, not at all. It was actually pretty easy. But he has some theories on why black owned companies don't have more sports betting licenses. The biggest hurdle obstacle for, for black owned bars it's going to be a lot of it doesn't have a lottery component. To get a sports betting kiosk license, you have to be an Ohio lottery retailer that gets a recommendation from the Lottery Commission. William says that wasn't hard to accomplish, but most of the bar owners he knows are not lottery retailers. Once they know that the lottery component is huge from this, or whatever, I think you'll see more minority bars uh, apply for the lottery. We asked the Ohio Lottery how many of its retailers are minority owned says it doesn't collect that information either. So far, it doesn't appear that they've done very much on the, on the topic. Senator Thomas says he'll keep pushing for the disparity study. This is a work in progress, and this is uncharted waters for the state. But yet and still, we are expecting every uh, letter of, this, of, the, of the bill to be followed. In North College Hill, Dan Monk, WCPO 9, I-Team.